Hi, we are engineering brothers. In our previous classes, I had given you the basic formulation or how do I get the idea of the balanced condition or how do I say that the AC bridges are at balanced condition and I had given you all the equations or relationship over there. Okay, but right now I want to give you the general idea or the general perspective on how do you solve a bridge formulation or how do I get a bridge equations by this simple formulation over here. So you can see that I have got a simple structure over here. This AB arm has resistance R1 and the inductance L1. And BC has uh, the non-inductive resistance value. And the DC has another resistor which is R4. And AD is, R, has an R2 and L2 components over here. And all I need, we need to find out the unknown values of R1 and L1 over here. I want to repeat this portion once again. This R1 and L1 are missing over here. Okay. And these three arms are present over here. All I need, we need to connect the R1 and L1 with this arm. And after balance condition, we have got the exact criteria or exact way to find out the unknown values of R1 and L1 from this configuration over here. Okay, so the R1 and R2 are small resistance values which are attached with our L1 and L2 and is used to, to control the current uh, through this bridge circuit. Okay, and R3 and R4 are non-inductive resistors or purely resistance values are there which is actually used uh, to have the circuit in our balanced condition. Okay, so what is the exact way to find out or to create this overall AC bridge at balanced condition? Let us see that. So the balanced equation is Z1, Z4, which is, is equal to Z2, Z3. Okay. So, what is the Z1? Z1 means which one? This R. Okay. So, the value of Z1 is R1 plus JX1. Okay. And the R4 is our Z4. So, this one and what is the value of Z2 and Z3? So this one is our Z2 and this one is Z3. So what is the Z2, J, X2 and this one is our R3. Okay. So the same procedure just like our previous consideration R1, R4 plus J, X1, R4 and what is been present in our right hand side I have got the expression which is R2, R3 plus J, X2, R3. Okay. And if I do equate the real term with real term, what we have got? I have got R1, R4, which is R2, R3. Okay. And our ultimate problem statement is we need to find out the unknown values of R1. Okay. So by using this equation, I have got the unknown values of R1, which is nothing but R2, R3 divided by R4. Okay. 
So this is our R1 value or the unknown resistance values that we are aiming to find out over here. The next one is we need to find out the unknown values of L1 over here. But before I go into that, I want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one. And after that, I will do my rest of the procedure over here. I want to repeat this portion once again. I have used the previous consideration of the previous formulation for our balanced condition, which is Z1, Z4 is equal to Z2, Z3 and have put the values over here. So Z1 means this one R1 plus of Jx1. I have got or I have taken that the this one is our X1. Okay. And the Z4 means R4. So this one. And the Z2 means this one. So R2 plus JX2 and this one is R3. And have or if I do multiply this expression, I have got this one. So I have clearly defined you or I have shown you that that all my previous expression. But for this present condition, I have equated the real part with the real part that I am showing over here and in the next part I will do the imaginary part which is equal to imaginary part over here but before I go into that I want to give you or I have promised you to give you two minutes over here so the time starts now. In order to refresh your mind, I have taken a bridge circuit over here and I need to find out the general purpose or how do I solve this equation or solve this bridge circuit over here. Okay, so I have written the balanced equation over here and have put the values of each and every impedance values over here and have equated the real part which is uh, this one and I have got this is our expression over here. So this is our expression for R1. Okay. And what is the next expression? Let us see that. Okay. So I should erase this portion to have some more space over here or in order to find out the imagery expression over here. So what is the next expression I have got? So if I do equate the imaginary part, which is X1 R4, which is nothing but our is equal to our x2 r3 okay so what is the value over here the value of x1 is as this one is inductor or inductive circuit the value is 2 pi f l1 
This one is R4. Okay. And for our x2, I have got 2 pi f L2 R3. Okay. So 2 pi f, 2 pi f will cancel each other. So this 2 pi f, 2 pi f will cancel. And I have got the expression of L1, which is unknown values of or the values of unknown L1 or R1 is been given over here. So the unknown values of L1 is L2 R3 divided by R4. Okay. So this is our expression. If I do equate the imaginary part over here, I want to repeat this portion once again. I have taken a balanced AC bridge circuit over here and my ultimate objective for this video is to find out how do I solve this balanced equation over here. So just put the expression or put, put the bridge at balanced condition which is Z1, Z4 is equal to Z2, Z3 and I have equated the real part which is actually given us the unknown resistance value is this one and uh, the unknown inductance value is this one which is l2 r3 divided by r4 and my ultimate point is how do i conclude uh, by looking at this values over here so the first conclusion is you can say that the r1 value is dependent on the all the other values of r2 r3 and r4 so this R1 value is dependent on the resistor values of R2, this one is R3 and this one is R4. So all the other resistance values are dependent on this R1 value. So if I do need to find out or if I want to make the circuit balanced or at the balanced condition, we need to tune the resistor values of R2, R3 and R4. Okay. So you can see that the value of R1 is directly dependent on R2, R3 and R4 values over here. So just tune these resistor values in order to find out or in order to get the circuit at balanced condition. Okay. And in the another part, if you see that the L1 value is dependent on our L2, R3 and R4. So L2 is this one, L2, R3 and R4. So you can directly feel that or you can directly see that you should tune the value of L2, R3 and R4 from this circuit to have the circuit or, or in order to get the circuit in a balanced condition. Okay, so if you have reached the bridge or if you have reached the circuit at balanced condition just tune these values over here and after that the condition is simple just put the equation over here which is z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 and have those values over here i want to repeat this portion once again r1 is directly dependent on R2, R3 and R4. Okay, so all I need, we need to tune these resistor values to get the R1 value, which is at balanced condition. And for L1, the value is dependent on L2, R3 and R4 over here. And just tune those values or tune the values of L2, R3 and R4 to have or to understand the unknown values of L1 over here. So by this equation or by this solving equation, we have got this conclusion over here. And you can see that this equation is independent of frequency. Okay, so here the L1 and R1 are not dependent on frequency. So whatever may be the uh, source uh, frequency or whatever may be the voltage source frequency for our ACB circuit, if the bridge have reached the balanced condition, then whatever may be the frequency of our voltage source, that does not matter in our operation over here. If 
the circuit is at balanced condition or balanced condition means there is no detector current is flown through this path or id is zero that that is ultimately given us the exact idea of id is equal to zero or detector current is zero which is nothing but the idea is the base is at balanced condition okay so for that consideration the unknown values of l1 and r1 are independent of frequency or here you can see that not a single f expression is been given over here okay so that is my second conclusion if you look at the is which uh, or if you like to solve uh, this equation or like to solve this or in order to get the unknown values of r1 and l1 over here so the expression is independent of frequency or not a single f term is been present in our expression over here so whatever may be the frequency of a source or from um, that does not matter in our operation at balanced condition okay so that is our second conclusion and the third conclusion is very simple i have considered that the resultant values are at balanced condition but if the phase angle of our z1 z2 z3 z4 are not at balanced condition then i can directly say that the ac bridge are not at balanced condition okay so the phase angle factor or the angle of theta 1 plus theta 4 which is is equal to theta 2 plus theta 3 need to be considered over here or if i do consider that the resultant values or the values of z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 are balanced but the phase angles are not at balanced then we can directly say that the bridge are not at all at balanced condition okay so both the values or the resultant values and the phase angles are at balanced condition so that is my third conclusion if i look at this value okay and the most important part is here at the expression of r1 you can see that not a single inductor terms is present over here okay so if you want to get the tuning values of r1 just tune the values of r2 r3 and r4 over here okay so if you want to get the tune value of r1 just change accordingly the values of r2 as it is been present in our expression r2 this r3 and r4 okay for the tuning of l1 we just need to tune the values of l2 for l2 the r3 this one and the r4 values over here and after that you have completely balanced condition for the acid bridges over here okay so this is our third conclusion over here and i think i have given you all the ideas on how do you get the bridge at balanced condition hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section below hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel and please do subscribe our channel okay in order to conclude my videos i want to summarize my ideas over here you can see that l1 is dependent on l2 r3 and r4 values over here so just tune these three values to have the best possible values of l1 or at balanced condition you just need to change the or alter the values of l2 r3 and r4 values over here but for the r1 we just need to alter the values of r2 r3 and r4 values over here okay so that is my first point the second point is the values of l1 and r1 are independent of frequency or there is not a f functions or the frequency factor is been present over here so whatever may be the frequency or whatever may be uh, the voltage source or the characteristic of voltage source that does not matter over here 
at balance condition you can put or you can apply this equation over here so that is my second vital point and the third vital point is all i need we need to equate the real part is equal to real part and after we have equated the real part is equal to real part i have got this is my expression and if i do equate the imaginary part or two imaginary part i have got this is my second expression over here okay so that is been present over here and that is the ideal way to say that the bridge is at our balanced condition okay so hope you have understood my total analogy over here so please do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and please do subscribe my channel because i need your support over here so that's it thank you and goodbye